Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about chain drive. Special it is the concept of the chain drive. So let's see first of all the outlines of the session. First we will discuss about the importance of the chain drive. Then we will discuss about the construction of the chain drive. Next I will show you the simple figure of the chain drive that is special useful for the examination. Next advantages of the chain drive next disadvantages of the chain drive and at last we will see the applications of the chain drive so let's see one by one so here you can see this is the chain drive this is actually the sprocket on the driving shaft and this is the sprocket on the driven shaft and this one is the chain so here the power is transmitted with the help of the sprocket and the chain. Now let's start from the first topic importance of the chain drive. In bell drives, slipping may occur that also we have discussed in the previous session. Now in order to avoid the slipping in case of the power transmission, steel chains are used. Here you can see this is the steel chains. The chains are made up of rigid links. Here also you can see in this figure also you can see these all are actually the rigid links. The wheels have projecting teeth. Here you can see this wheel having the projecting teeth and fit into the corresponding recess in the links of the chain. So this wheel Having projecting teeth is known as the sprocket also. So here you can see this one is the larger sprocket and this one is the smaller sprocket. Generally smaller sprocket is known as the pinion and large sprocket is known as the wheel. Next one construction of the chain drive. So this is very simple figure. This is the chain or you can say chain links. This is the larger sprocket or you can say wheel. This is the smaller sprocket is also known as the pinion. This is the chain having number of rigid links joined together and makes a loop. In this drive series of connected links are hinged together to form a chain. The chain is wrapped over the sprockets. Here you can see these A and B both are the sprockets. There are two sprockets. This one is known as the driving sprocket and this one is known as the driven sprocket. Next, simple figure for the chain drive. Especially you can use in the examination because of this figure is little bit difficult to draw in the examination. This is only for the understanding. So this simple figure you can use in the examination. Next advantages of the chain drive. First no slip during the power transmission. So this is the very important advantages if you compare it with the bell drive. So it ensures the perfect velocity ratio because of you know that if there is no any slip then you will get the perfect velocity ratio and hence output side that means on the driven side you will get the precise speed. Next it transmits more power than the belt and rope drive because of there is no slip. So definitely you can transmit more power. Next, they can be operated under adverse thermal and atmospheric condition because of this is made from the metal and that's why it can be used in the adverse thermal and atmospheric conditions. It can use in both short and long distance power transmission. So generally the chain drive is used for the short distance as well as the long distance. Next. 
since all parts are made of metal, it occupies less area than the belt drive. Last one. One chain can be used for transmitting motion to more than one shafts. So you can use this chain to transmit motion to more than one shaft also. Now next one, disadvantages of the chain drive. First, conventional chain drive suffers vibration because of it is made from the metal. Next, the production cost of the chain drive is higher than the belt drive because of you know that this is made from the metal and required special manufacturing process. Next, the chain drive needs accurate and careful mounting. Next, the chain drive need careful maintenance, lubrication and slack adjustment. So you know that in case of the chain drive, there is a regular maintenance and lubrication required. But in case of the belt drive, there is no need of lubrication. If there is no frequent proper lubrication in case of chain drive, the chain wear out faster than belts and ropes. So this one is the very big disadvantages of the chain drive. And that's why careful maintenance must be required in case of chain drive. Now the last one, application of chain drive. Chain drive is mostly used in automobile sectors like bicycle, here you can see, bikes, cars, etc. Next, it is used in engines to transmit power. So it is very simple, you can understand. Next, it is used in farmyard machineries, here you can see. Conveyor belts, also you can see, and many industrial machineries. Thanks, my dear friends, for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.